Maryland, and uh, what did you guys do well in that first half, Steve? Uh, not a lot, actually. I mean, but we, we got a little lucky with uh, moving the ball. We want to move Ohio State around the park, get them moving uh, side to side. If we can stretch them, I think we can uh, we can score some more tries. We're running a gas, out of gas ourselves, and we're down a man, uh, so we got one less reserve. That's going to hurt us, but uh, we'll see. What did you want them to work on in the second half? Uh, just, just they got to work harder defensively at, at three, four, and five in the middle of the field. We're seeing big gaps appear. Uh, if our middle defenders can work across, we can uh, keep the pressure up. I see Matt Rowley has his uh, warm-ups off. He's going to go in? He'll be getting in. All right, Matt Rowley will be in here in the second half, Todd. I think that's going to be a running theme throughout the day until we crown a champion, Brian, if our guys are running out of gas and we're down a man or two because on the third day of the CRC, it's <laughs> that's not an uncommon theme. Yeah, yeah we, have, we've seen every year of ball? this tournament the deepest benches, the most complete yep. teams no are the ones who stick around long into Sunday. So a line out now for the Terrapins as we get started in half number two. They lead it 12-5. That forward. Thank you. Scrum. Unlucky Lost there. In the line out. Maryland throws a pretty poor line out throw. Thanks, but Ohio State knocks it on in the process. How can we not see more of that Yankee torpedo that Pete Dawson, Dawkins brought over to Oxford? You know, the, you the know, football yeah, pass down the middle. You could, right if the, the law you. is the guy Coach. who's standing behind the line out can closer. run in as soon as Fine. that ball leaves the hand. And so there's a n really nice lob option it. off okay. the top, Play but no one seems Make to be sure doing you're behind, it. Scrumming. Look at the speed on the outside. Mike Messina, get him free. And kid's a handful. Well, Santino Cua, I thought. I thought uh, Messino would be able to step him around the corner, but Santino Cua shows some pace of his own for a big man, number eight for Ohio State. Nice Clint, defense, Clint. but there's Seema. Matt Sarna keeps it alive, and he gets thrown to the pitch, and he keeps his wits about him and throws a beautiful pass to the inside. Matias Seema there to take it home. Just a nice team try here. Just using the width of the field and getting a mismatch. You got your big prop out there for Ohio State. Now, was that a defensive breakdown by the Buckeyes, or is that just great play and following and support by Matias Seema? No, you, you look for those ma mismatches. You try to identify them, and sometimes you just get lucky in there. You got a guy like Seema who plays in the forwards sometimes, but he's also got a great step and a good read of the game. Here it is one more time. As Sarna gets thrown down, Seema's there in support. And for more on Matt, Matias Seema, let's check in with Marty. And Todd, you got to give Matias credit. Maryland was here okay, two years ago in the CRC. They were not here last year. Matias Seema was. He was a fan in the stands, and he said he, that motivated him the entire year. He called his coach Steve Lake as soon as he came back from the CRCs and said, we will be back there next year. I want to be a part of that once again. And he told me I can still see from my seat the vision of Cal winning the championship. I wanted a shot at that again this year. His team made it, doing well in this game as well. Well, Todd. Yeah, that's some great drive taking it from last year and sitting here and despite some of the haters around Back PPL Park I'm telling you I'm kind of warming up to those Maryland uniforms. <laughs> you got to dig those things. Come on. Look at them. Wear the flag boys. Ohio State just unable to hold on to the ball yeah. and and you know looking what? to capitalize. It's been the story of the Buckeyes all weekend Todd. They just can't keep possession and they turn it over too easily. Maryland's going to come back for a line out here. So a, anyway, basically no a try saving kick into touch. On you. And again, we'll see if Maryland can execute this tr line out a little better than last time. Remember, it all starts with the man who throws it in. It'll be Josh Morotsky. This two, game, there's, there's already two, enough pressure nine. on you from the number other nine. team. What you don't want to do is put pressure on yourself. And it just compounds the difficulty of the game. Ugh. Speaking of difficulty, apparently the throw-in has been difficult for both teams, and Ohio State able to get it back. Release. Ball's out. Ball's out. He's okay. So Ohio State trying to mount some offense. They trail at 17-5 as we're under three minutes to go in this plate semifinal. The winner meets Northeastern in the plate final. There's Kua with some depth, but he can't break that tackle. And number 10, James Bowman, 
Play on. Forward. Doing a pretty good job Rough of defense there. Just keep your feet. Scrum to gold. Time off. So stop and play. Time actually stopped one of the few times. And there number you see one, number, number seven, Matt Riley. The senior from Glenwood, Maryland, born without the left forearm. Number one. Don't tell him Red he can't go one, all seven. out with the rest of these boys. And his teammates, they appreciate him. Matt Riley is a phenomenal rugby player, and he's doing it with one less arm than everyone else. The kid, I think, is a superhuman. So I get a lot more attention than I probably should as a player because of it. He has to work that much harder in order to do everything that he does. If somebody has ever to underestimate me, I'd probably just stick it right to him. I'll tell you what, he's, he's got a big heart. He's got a big brain, too. I was talking to him about his summer plans. He works as a biomedical engineer for the NIH. He's getting a degree in materials engineering. I asked him what that was. He said, you know how you make stuff out of other stuff? And I said, that's, that's about enough. It's more than you needed. Yeah. Riley on the tackle, and Riley able to bring him down just short of midfield. Now, one of the rules in rugby is you've got to release the ball when you're tackled. And watch Riley making the most of it. Gets fended off, but gets a handful of Buckeye jersey. Brings him to the turf. Yeah, and, you know, I think that's what the guys love about him. And, and what makes him such a special athlete is that he'll figure out a way. You know, that, he's him. got his limitations, but, you know, it's not going to keep him from figuring out a way Diving to get you on, on the, the ground man. and give you the business. 17-5, Maryland on top as we come up on a minute to play in this one. Ohio State needs something quick, and then on the restart kick, they're going to have to steal this one to take it away. There goes Riley <laughs> in with another big hit. Knock on advantage. There you go. How about that? The steal and the poach. That's equivalent to football's pick six. You take it all the way back to that hit from Riley, and maybe not with the ball, but he causes the quick dish. He's putting a hurting on those Ohio State Buckeyes. 22-5, Terps on top as the two-point conversion is coming. And it just looks like Maryland has a little more, maybe a little deeper bench right now. 10 seconds. Look at this again, the pickoff. Riley comes in, lays the wood, and that triggers this. Yeah, knock, knock on. on advantage. Just got to get those passes crisp. And when you got guys like Riley in your face playing defense, Okay. Just hard to execute. Kenny Rothman with the try, the junior from Baltimore, Maryland, and 22-5 with wait, less wait. than a minute to go. Are we okay? I want to remind you, coming up, the Bruins of UCLA and the defending champion Cal Bears get together in the Cup semifinal to determine an opportunity to play for the national title. The other semifinal will be Life and in. Kutztown. What are the Early chances time. we get the Pac-12 rivalry here in Philadelphia? Not 10, advantage, red. It should be a good one, too. Yep. Pack Two 10. completely different styles. You got the bruisers from Berkeley going up against some steppers from Westwood. Should be a compelling matchup. The Cal Bears looked so good. And just Pack a few weeks ago four. here on NBCSN, you saw them play in 15s against BYU in the Varsity Cup. And uh, I'm just wondering, do some of the players come out and play a little angry because they missed out on a national title in 15s, and here's their chance to repeat in sevens. Well, their legacy is one of, of winning championships. And so, yeah, every time they have a chance to win a title and they don't, it's a huge letdown for the California Golden Bears. But, you know, sevens and 15s, kind of different sports to, to the guys from Cal. But this, this one means as much as as a 15s title to him. Kick it out of bounds, into touch. Clock goes to zero, and Maryland victorious in plate semifinal number two. So the Terrapins will take on Northeastern for the plate championship. Hey, good job. Good game. Ohio good job. State is done, okay. and disappointment for them. Not only do they not make it into the cup or the plate championship, but they lose out against Michigan. That one may hurt most of all. Great, great weekend for both of these teams, though. Maryland moves on.
Customary handshake as Northeastern and Maryland will do battle. Coming up, we move to the cup, the final four of the elite here.